busted, thrown out on his ass, and kicked out of town. What are you doing? I can explain. I bet you can. I was in the house. To kill Adam? No, I didn't kill Stuart, but I know who did. You know who murdered Stuart Chandler. Yeah, I don't care what Zack Slater is saying. I was on the terrace, and the only one I saw there was Kendall. I don't understand. Zack just told me to, to, to stay away from him for good, to just forget about him. He's trying to protect you, Kendall. But well, why would he have to protect me? He's the one who needs protecting. I mean, I mean, he's the one who... He confessed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Zach confessed because he thinks I killed Stuart. You think I killed him, too? No. Kendall, I don't think you killed Stuart. I know you would tell me if you did. Well, Zach thinks I did. And his confession is a lie. He's doing it to protect me. I've waived my right to an attorney. Given the gravity of the charges against you, I highly recommend you at least seek advice of counsel. Your Honor, I'm Mr. Slater's counsel. And she tested Adam's medication. They know you switched those pills. No, they suspect it. That's one thing. Proving it beyond a reasonable doubt, that is another. I am not going to go down for this. What are you going to do? I always do, Crystal. I'm gonna fight. Do you have a plan? I'm gonna say and do whatever I need to to beat this. I've already lost my children, my grandson. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose my job, too. So I went into the house to see Colby. And uh, upstairs, there she was. She was sleeping, and then I heard someone coming, so I left. And outside on the terrace, I saw Kendall. Did she see you? I don't know. I don't think so. Was she by the terrace doors? Yes. Yes, she was. God, I just hate doing this. What, telling the truth? Come on, you think I'm enjoying this? Well, the best way to protect yourself is to shine the light on someone else, right? Yeah, listen, Kendall and I have known each other for a long time, and... I've recently met Zach. He's a good man. I don't want to hurt them. All right, so back to the truth. Did Kendall have a gun? Yes, she had a gun. Did you see her pull the trigger? No. No, I left, but I heard the shot. It was a few seconds later. A few seconds? How, how many seconds? I, 10, 5, 15? I don't know. I only took a few steps. Not many. That's Kendall Hart, my ex-wife, not an attorney. Ms. Hart, given you are not the defendant's attorney, I suggest you be seated. You can't let this happen. One more outburst, and you will be cited for contempt. Okay, let's sit down. Let's sit down. Zack Slater, you are charged with murder in the first degree. How do you plead? Guilty. The defendant has entered a plea of guilty. Sentencing will be set for Wednesday, June 3rd. Mr. Slater, you will remain in custody. You will be transferred to the state prison as soon as possible to await sentencing. This can't be happening. Court is adjourned. This is wrong. This is wrong. Zack, I know why you're doing this. You're doing it to protect me because you think that I killed Stuart. I didn't do it. I'm telling you, I did not kill him. Please, you have to change your plea. You have to tell them the truth. I did tell them the truth. Pulled the trigger. Killed a man. Innocent man. A good man. Go take care of the kids. You make sure she dies. I will. Come on, let's but go. Wait a minute, Zach. Come on. Zach, please. Is, is it possible? Do you think Zach really did it? Did he really kill Stuart? 
have to fight them. I know any hospital in the country would be happy to have you on their staff. I am not running, Crystal. I'm going to stay, I'm going to fight, and I'm going to win. They're going to crucify you. I have never backed down from a fight in my life. When something this important is at stake, I fight to win, and I take no prisoners. This isn't about your damn job. This is about Amanda's baby, your baby. You want to stay close so that you can grab that baby as soon as it's born. Okay, you're right. That baby is one of the principal reasons I'm staying in Pine Valley. Zach wanted to kill Adam if Ian died. And I told him, I said, if he couldn't, then I would. And now, Adam's alive, Stuart is dead, and Zach's going to prison for the rest of his life. I mean, maybe he didn't confess to protect me. Maybe he confessed because he did it. And he didn't want to have, a, you know, the, the big trial and all the craziness and publicity. Well, he wanted to spare the boys. Whatever the reason, this is his choice, Kendall. This, this, is, this is what he wanted. Zach said he didn't want the boys to know him, Brian. He wanted me and, and us to, to forget him. And how could he say that? How could he mean that? To never want to hold Spike again? To, to never want to see Ian? I don't think he means that. I think, I, I don't believe it. And I, I need to do something. You know what you can do is you can love the boys. Okay, that's what you can do. You can raise them to be the men that Zach would be proud of. I have to get back to the hospital. Are you going to be all right? Ian will not see his mother cry again. I've done enough of that lately. Come by later, okay? Okay. It's over. Zach confessed. What happened? He's in custody. He's going to be transferred to state prison until he's sentenced. I guess that's some sort of closure. Knowing that Uncle Stewart's killer's behind bars. That damn valve. I wanted to save lives. But instead, I almost cost Slater's son his life. And I got my father killed. Kendall inside? No, she left. You know where she is? I've got a few questions. Why? The case is closed. Zach confessed. Yeah, well, we both know why he did that, don't we? Yeah, because he did it. Because he's protecting somebody, Ryan. That same somebody that you are protecting. Dr. Hayward? I can't talk right now, Gail. I know. The, the ethics committee, I've been so worried. And well, that's very sweet of you to be concerned. You're important to me. As you are to me. Did you get my message? Yes, I did. I don't know what I would do without you. Then you're not worried? No, no. You look absolutely radiant today. <laughs> They're waiting for us. Are you ready? I wouldn't miss it for the world. We tried to play God, JR, and he slammed us. We think we are so clever, we think we are so great. We can decide if a child lives, and we can make a little money in the process. What well, he showed us, didn't he? He took the one person who doesn't care about money, whose intentions are so good and so pure. No, because of our choices, because of our arrogance, I lost my father, Adam lost his brother. And little Slater lost his dad. It's all true. We screwed up. But that doesn't mean that we give up. We can't fix this. We can't make this right. But we can use this to make better decisions. You know, well, my first decision, I am burying this valve with my father. <laughs> 